Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, I, today, if you haven't noticed, I've been in the same black shirt and these uh, same Bordeaux colored lips in the last few wig videos, and that's because I'm filming them all back to back to back to back. So, today, this one that I'm sharing with you guys is going to be from RPGshow.com. This is a celebrity inspired wig, and I will put the celebrity inspiration in the video so that you guys can see who this is. Um, this hairstyle is repli a replica of. Did I say that right? If I didn't, sorry. Um, Style number or product number to this one is CLW064-S. So, um, glueless cap construction. I got a big head, so I got a size 2 with medium brown lace and it's a silky texture to this hair. Now, y'all know how I feel about light colored hair. And it ain't even so much, or it's not, not ain't, it's not even so much of a light colored hair because I've kind of, you know, gotten over that hump, but it's the placement of the light colored hair. So I'm a little bit afraid of this one, but we're going to work it out and see how it's going to work. So as you guys saw the inspiration for this hair, and this is what it looks like live. Darker roots. And then there's like chunky pieces of the blonde color that's going throughout the wig. And then up underneath is a medium brown uh, color. So that's what I mean by the placement of the color. Knowing me, just knowing how I am with hair like this, we'll see after the, after the whole styling process goes. But just knowing how I am, I'm probably gonna go through and darken this a little bit just a little bit so as with all of the RPG show wigs they come in the black boxes the RPG show wigs you get a nice little paddle brush and then you get a wig liner or a wig cap and I'm not too fond of these particular wig caps only because I have fine hair and even with it with it straight or with it being in its natural state those wigs tend to grasp a hold of my hair and when I pull take them off it seems like it's always snatching out little hairs so I'm not particularly fond of those so um, just for the sake of the video I don't even have one on but I would just normally wear either a black or a flesh toned cap underneath these units but as with any of the RPG show units you have the three combs in it one two three in the top and then you have the comb in the oh no comb in the back huh. I thought they usually have combs in them but I don't know maybe I'm tripping but there are adjustable straps on them so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these and with my RPG show units like I said even though I have a big head I want it to fit as snug as possible so what I do is I tighten it to the very last hook or a loop so put this baby on all right so we are on as always I'm gonna pull it back a little bit behind my hairline just kind of prefer it to be behind the hairline I'm not 100% skilled in this whole lace wig and lace closure and lace frontal situation yet but I've worn enough to know that I like them pulled back just so that I can pull out a little bit of my natural hair. So yeah, I can almost tell that I'll probably be going in and messing around with this color in some way. It's not that I don't like the color, I just like it a little bit further down. I'm just weird, you know? I don't really like color in my face, even though I have embraced it I still don't want it in my face so I'm almost certain that I will go through and um, tone this down a little bit up in this area just so that it'll just I'll I'll do a video I'll do a video because with each unit it's different you know I don't think I want it to look as ombre but it's gonna have to 
I don't I want it to look like roots I don't want it to look ombre I want it to look like roots so all right density is perfect I don't have thick hair in reality or in real life so there's no need to part so yeah the density is perfect it's not um, it's not harsh if that makes any sense like you know if you get some wigs that are human hair and they've been bleached or lifted or colored in some form and then it's just like extremely hard to brush through so I'm gonna go through and kind of I don't want to I don't want to customize it too much yet because I want to um, I want to color it which I will do that later down the line but I want to go through and curl it a little bit. And if you guys notice, I always have a comb that missing teeth in the center. I keep a few of those. It's, I don't like to use rat tail combs all the time. I would rather have a regular comb. And I always poke the center, you know, uh, comb teeth out so that it's easier for me to hold this way. But I'll still have the ease of having the bigger combs or the bigger teeth on this side and the smaller teeth on this side. I'm wearing like that. I know that they make combs like that, but these, it just is so much easier. And you know, you you can go get them like four, five, four dollar, the beauty supply store. And it's, I just, it's easier. So don't be talking about my combs because I do this on purpose. <laughs> so I'm gonna definitely need to go through this and well maybe I should turn my curling irons on I'm gonna definitely need to go through and layer it I know that I just don't want to do that yet until I color it and I'm gonna work on coloring it within the next week or so so that I can get that video up for you guys to see because all this needs to come off all of that needs to come off and I typically I tend to wear my parts deep on the side now I don't even have this on completely right this is a center part wig I got it kind of cocked to the side a little bit so I'll go through and um, I'm, I'm going to make up a, a video on the actual customization that I do to this entire wig um, it's not that long of a process but it is a process so um, what I'm going to do I'm still going to uh, color it now or curl it now I'm still gonna curl it now but um, ooh, I don't know what day next week I'll be able to do this but I will do it all right so my curling iron should be warm right now okay, I'm gonna go through and curl it you guys are familiar with how I curl. You don't need to see it anymore. I'm going to go through and curl it and then I'll be back at the end to fluff it out. And then we're going to see how this look with some heat applied to it. It already came. It came curled already. But I just wanted to curl it again. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. And I went through, curled it all up. And I'm just going to finger comb through it. Okay, it's a beautiful wig. It's just I need to fix this color. It's not that bad. It needs to be layered. It definitely needs to be layered. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to, um... I'm not going to do this as of yet. I'm going to wait until next week. But what do you guys think? Do you think I should go through and color this at all? I think I should in just certain areas. Just like right here. It's just too much blonde for me right here. I don't know why on this side it's not that bad to me. Well, yeah, it is actually. It's just too much blonde for me right like right up in here. Like right up in here. If it started like if the blonde started gradually like right here and just faded then it'll be okay and definitely on this side it's just way too much too much blonde but let me know what you guys think as far as the wig itself I really like this wig you know I like the fact that I can do this and it's giving me so much volume I love hair that has volume in it so yes let me know what you guys think you know what this would be today's hair 
if this wasn't so blind. Okay, guys. So, again, unit number. This one is CLW064-S. Celebrity inspired with the chunky, chunky, kind of golden blonde highlights that RPG show does so very well in doing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to take some before and after pictures. Like I said, I'm not going to I'm not going to start the personalization process today because I just don't have the time. I'm, I want to I want to record the start to finish. I told you guys a while back with my art, the last, not the last RPG show, but the one before that, that I would share with you guys how I personalized my RPG show eggs. And so I'm gonna do that. Um, and I wanna do it all in camera. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep my promise and do that for you guys. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Is it really as bad as I'm saying that it is? Cause I think it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So, all right, people. <laughs> The next couple weeks, guys, I'm going to be in video overload. So I apologize if y'all get tired of seeing me, okay? But I will definitely be in video overload. So I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video.